What's going on guys, welcome along to another garage episode and today we are installing this. Car Purides 7 inch screen running Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. As you can see I'm using Zoe's lovely Yamaha MT-07. This has got an old school LCD screen, no other tech. So let's install this. Now before we go any further I'm going to say this is a sponsored video by Car Purides. So A, thank you very much for them sending the product out. Where this is a sponsored video they've sent me this product. They do not pay for this video. They do not see this video before it releases. So when you see this is when they first see this. My opinion is my opinion. If I like it, I'll tell you. And if I don't, I'll also tell you. Enough waffle, it's installed. And before we actually get to the unboxing side, looking at the unit itself, this product's gonna take you back 317 pounds. Uh, right now there is a discount of 222 pounds. So for me, I'd place this in the kind of middle bracket for uh, the kind of Chinese market uh, TFT screens. At the lower end, you've got something like this, which this is auto ABC. This one's gonna set you back around 100, 150 pounds. And then if you wanna spend a little bit more money, you pick up something like this. This is gonna set you back 450, 500 pounds. So let's see what this middle tier screen gives us. Before you even get into the box, looking at the box itself, it's got all the relevant information on the outside, uh, telling you kind of what features it's got. More importantly, it's got the company name on. The other one, Auto ABC, doesn't even put their name on the box, so you don't even know it's from them. Now I must say, like I said, this is a seven inch one. Car Puride also do a five inch screen, so if you think the screen's a little bit too big for the type of bike you got, especially for like a retro style bike, uh, then maybe the five inch is gonna be the one for you. This is the first time I've seen this product. So here it is, it is huge. In comparison to the five inch screen, uh, it's got a lot of uh, surface space. The lens hood, so the sun hood, is already installed. Nice to see. Another really good feature that I like is it's got a RAM ball mount joint on the back already. Some of the other units don't have that, which means they're permanently fixed to the bike, where with this having the ball mount, it means you can take it off whenever you, you stop. One thing I'm gonna say, it is really, really light, which means the material is very kind of cheap feeling, very plasticky. Doesn't give you the confidence that this is gonna stand up to the test of time. Especially if I start putting this onto my GSA, cause I like to take that thing off road as well. How well this will handle off road, I don't know. Hey, maybe that's a, a video for the future. In comparison to Yamaha's screen, uh, it's about twice the size. Let's place that there for now. Moving into the rest of the box. Spare fuse, so not a lot in here, which is what I like to see, nice and simple. So first of all, it's gonna be uh, a wiring option. So if you wanna wire this straight to the battery, or, which actually I'm gonna start using from now on, is I've got a Thunderbox. So basically this connects to the battery. This here now connects to the Thunderbox. And whenever you turn the ignition on, Thunderbox will do its job and then activate and turn on, then giving this power. Because obviously if you connect this straight to the battery, it means this is gonna always have power and then it's gonna eventually drain your battery. If you were to install the wiring straight away, you wanna install it to something that turns on to the ignition, or like me, I think this is about 60, 70 pounds, buy this. This has got four entry points, so you can have four different electrical items that turn on on ignition. Sat nav, cameras front and rear, phone charger, whatever it may be, can all be uh, activated by this. This isn't a Thunderbox commercial. Bought this, my own money, don't worry. But what it does mean is that I don't have to slice and dice the wiring every time I get sent a product. I can just plug it straight into there and then we can do the test. The next part, which for me on my GSA, I would use and I have done on some of the other devices I've been sent is a USB power. A lot of bikes nowadays have some form of USB powering at the front. So if you didn't want to do any hard wiring or buy a Thunderbox or anything like that, but you've got a USB socket at the front, you can literally just plug this in and out whenever you want. So once the bike's turned on, plug it in, it's got power. Manual, and then lastly, it's gonna be our handlebar mount with the RAM mount accessory onto it. For Zoe's bike, we've already got a RAM mount because this is where her quad lock mount goes. I've taken the quad lock mount off, so steady, stand still. So for this installation, I don't need this piece at all, but if this wasn't here, all it would be is take off those nuts, round the handlebar, tighten them up, and then you're good to go, and it's exactly the same as what I've got installed already. Hopefully everyone knows how to install a round mount joint. 
or the ball joint to the round mount, loosen it off, widen up the gap, force it in. Once it's in, just tighten her up. Now for this installation, Zoe doesn't actually have a USB point and I'm not gonna wire it into the bike. This is just gonna be an unboxing installation onto this bike, but when I do my first ride, it will be out on the GSA and I will be using the USB plug for that. But currently, the bike's getting its service, getting the MOT, it's getting freshened up. So when that's back, I'll do that video. But for the meantime, I've got my trusty power pack so we can see what the screen looks like and we can connect the screen to our phone. To connect the unit and the USB plug, uh, it's just a case of lining up the holes, pushing it in, and then screwing down the cap. That's gonna make it waterproof. Nice and snug, give it a little dugga dugga. For whatever reason, the power pack didn't like it to stay on uh, and give it juice, so I've connected it to the power oak. So we're back in. Got my iPhone, going on to the Bluetooth settings. We are looking for car puride. There she is, and we are connected. Easy as that. It connected really nice and easily, but connecting it to the maps, there is a slight delay when you are moving it with your fingers, but nothing that's gonna annoy you to the point where you can't use the product. I did see a video where someone couldn't do the plus or minus uh, for the map to zoom in and out. I can confirm it does work, but it keeps, my finger keeps missing, well, it doesn't, I don't miss it. The sensor keeps missing it and then uh, it zooms in but then moves to the right at the same time. But so far, as you would expect, everything works uh, just like Apple CarPlay. Screen brightness can be adjusted, going to the home screen and then moving it all the way up. You can add an SD card to this. Me personally, I'm not gonna bother because everything I will need will be just directed from the phone anyway. First initial thoughts then on the car pure ride is the screen is big. Seven inches is big to have on a motorcycle. The M207 might be a little bit too big having a seven inch screen, so potentially the five inch might have gone better with this. But like I said, the first ride will be the GSA with the uh, seven inch on there. Then later on, I'm gonna do a comparison between this seven inch car pure ride and then the Auto ABC five inch. If you are actually interested in the car pure ride touchscreen, then in the description box below, there will be the link for this product and then also their website. I'm not signed up to any of their affiliate marketing uh, because this is the first time I've used this product. I don't sign up to the affiliate side. I'll only sign up for affiliate marketing if I truly believe in the product because at the end of the day, I'd rather my word mean more than just getting a couple of quid uh, from, from the uh, commission side. More importantly though, I will be doing a giveaway on the channel. This product, all the Auto ABC, will be in that running. Uh, I say that because I'm gonna let Zoe decide whether she wants the five inch or the seven inch for her Yamaha. She'll decide which one she wants, and then whatever's left, I'll be giving to one of you guys. So for you to be notified of when that giveaway is coming, you have gotta be subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and help us get to 10,000 subs by the end of 2024. Stay tuned for more motorcycle related content, and until the next one, ride safe.